I recently challenged myself on WhatsApp to my followers that I'm gonna grow a small account from $5 to $1,000. And right now the account is around $288. <laughs> And today I'm gonna show you a simple strategy that I've been using to grow this account so far. So the full video is coming on how I am growing this account. So make sure you click that subscribe button so that you won't miss the video when it comes out. So today let me show you a simple strategy that I've been using to grow this small account from $5 to right now at $288. So let's get started. One of the main reasons why I chose this strategy is because with this strategy guys I have an opportunity to enter the market when the trend is about to reverse and if i do so i can ride and make a lot of profit since this is a small account i want to stay in a winning trade as much as i can so for example if i end at this point here we can see that i have an opportunity to ride this trend as the market goes down now this strategy uses four indicators and these four indicators are is the macd the moving average and the bollinger bands and you have to put them on your charts like this so if you stay with me until the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how to insert your indicators like this on your charts. For now, let me show you when to enter and when to exit the market. So let's start off with this selling opportunity example here. So for you to sell with this strategy, you want to see your MACD moving above the upper Bollinger Bands. Once the MACD moves above the upper Bollinger Bands, you want to see the red line which is the MACD line crossing with the two period moving average line which is the black line that you see right here. So once you see this crossover, the black line crossing going down and then you will see this happening above the upper Bollinger Bands, you see that this is a selling opportunity so you could place your sale order right here and you would ride the trend right this is a trend reversal trade so once you get into that trade if the market goes in your direction make sure to ride that trend as much as you can so this is a selling example now let me show you a buying example so for a buying example what you want to see is you want to see the macd going below the lower bollinger bands as you can see here you have the macd moving lower than the lower bollinger band so this lower bollinger band here you see the macd moving below that lower bollinger bands and then once the macd moves below that lower bollinger bands the macd starts going up and you see the black line crossing above the red line so right here you can see the black line crossing above the red line and then this is where you would place your buy order right here and then you write up the trend going up right here you can see the market was above the upper Bollinger Bands and then you see a crossover going up or going down right you can see the black line crossing going below the red line here and then you can see here you will have an opportunity to sell right here in the right route this trend going down so this is a very profitable strategy let me show you how to insert the indicators on your charts so to insert your indicators on your charts first you need to insert the macd so to insert the macd you click on f and then you click on macd find macd here and you click on macd you leave the settings to default don't change anything here if you want to change you can either maybe change the colors but don't change the parameters and then you click done once you do that you see your macd inserted right here the next indicator you, the next indicator you want to insert is the moving average so click on f again go to indicator window don't go to main chart go to indicator window and click plus and you click moving average select two period and method put linear weight and apply to first indicators data and you click done once you do that we are going to see your blue your black line right so the macd for mobile will come up like this if you are using the macd for your pc there's no need to put this moving average but on your mobile you are going to put these two period moving average so the next indicator which is the most important one is the bollinger bands so you click the f and go to indicator window and click on bollinger bands once you click on bollinger bands the parameters is period 200 deviation 1.500 shift zero then apply to first 
indicators data make sure to apply to first indicators data you want this bollinger bands to go on top of the macd and then you click done and once you do that you are going to see your charts window looking beautiful as this and this is where you would start trading this indicator so we said if you want to trade this strategy make sure you see the macd going above the upper bollinger bands or below the lower bollinger bands and you wait for a crossover what a crossover happens there you know that the market has shifted momentum and it's time to buy so if you look at the charts right now you can see there's a lot of examples that you can see with your eyes uh when the market is moving below the bollinger bands and make and then moves up and then it happens over and over again if you want to learn how to analyze the market with technical analysis in these indicators the video appearing on the screen right now is going to show you exactly how to analyze the market